Good morning everybody from Animal Kingdom. Uh, always the craziest park to get into. Security lines, crazy. The actual gate, think you die just to scan your magic band in to get into the park. Always wild. But, it's very cloudy today. Temperature is amazing, humid, but I mean, Temperature feels great. So, we are only here for one reason, and that is because I have not collected the 100 medallions from this location. The last time I was here, they did not have them available. Pretty sure by now they should be available. And there's that tree of life. We're probably gonna go to Fort Wilderness Lodge. Fort Wilderness. Not Wilderness Lodge, Fort Wilderness. We're gonna be going to um, Polynesian and the Grand Floridian today as well. And then if we have time, we might do something else. Good morning, Nikki. Sapphire, good to see you. Theme Park uh, fanatic, good to have you. Tiger Webb. Good to see you, Josh. Sam, I am. Good morning. We got Goofy already this morning. Dino Riffic cheer, everybody. There we go. Good morning, Jonathan. Let's see, Morgs is here. Good morning, Mary. And Tink for Life. It's good morning. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. We're not really here to do Animal Kingdom rides or anything like that. Like I said, we were just here to to pick up what we didn't get the last time we were here. Of course, we're all, um, I wanna thank everybody for being here, so if you enjoyed something that happens today, hit that like button, of course, subscribe to the channel, love the support, free to do. Uh, I wanna thank all my Patreon members and channel members again for all the continued support, you guys are amazing. Of course, I wanna thank my moderators for already being here. And let's see, uh, there's, there's that, no, I'm just joking, it's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was just, she, she's having a, a interview kind of thing today and she's kind of stressed out so hopefully things work out for her because if it works out for her, it works out for all of us and we'll get more, more time, more time to do things, less chances of us having to leave like 2.30, alright I gotta go. So our schedule could get a lot busier very soon. Of course, if you guys are looking for a trip and trying to book one, down in the description below, we got Adam with the, uh, Adventures by Jamie. Go ahead and click that link. There's a link there, or email him. Uh, you can schedule a cell phone call. Free to use, free to do. Free to use, free to you. Not, no extra do a cost to you. Have Jamie help you book your, or have Adam help you book a Disney adventure or some kind of adventure you want to go on. And of course his services are free. And that's why we work with Adam because I love free to do. All right. Now the first stop for medallions today is all the way back by Kilimanjaro Safari. Hey. Of course, I would have started like a half hour ago, but there was a rolled over car on the on-ramp coming into Disney, and then, and then like I said, Animal Kingdom is probably the my least favorite park to go to. 
and it's not even just the crowds or anything or the ride the lack of rides but it's like security takes forever luckily they i got to walk through today but the security line was super backed up and then going through uh to get like just scan your ticket to get in the park animal kingdom was just rough No, we're not picking up a cup today. I told, uh, what's his name? Uh, Kevin, I'll be swinging by tomorrow to grab it. Good morning, Thurberg. Yeah, it's totally dry. It did rain this morning, but it, everything's dry now. Let's see. Rich J, good morning. Jeff Davis, it's good to see you. Jonathan, like I said, good to see you again. We got Fantasmic tomorrow evening at Hollywood Studios. We're gonna do it again. I had so much fun last night watching Fantasmic. We're gonna do it again. Of course, Sunday morning, we're gonna go to Magic Kingdom. I haven't done Sunday morning Magic Kingdom, I think, since uh, we did a 24 hour stream. Right? I mean, I can't remember anymore, but I haven't done that in a long time. So, give that a shot. Because there will be no evening stream on Sunday. Tiger Web, good morning. Rich J. How you doing? <laughs> good you what are you guys going on? The rhino one? Yeah, we're nice. Rhino thing. Nice. Yeah. I did the elephant one. Oh, yeah? How'd you like it? It was good. My wife's a huge elephant person, so I was like, I want to go see the rhino. She's like, so elephants? I'm like, yeah, whatever you say. We just got <laughs> done doing the safari, and there was a ton of animals on it. Is there? Yeah. Is it a walk on? Yeah, it might be. I mean, there's like, they have the baby, uh, the baby zebras out there. They're like two weeks old. Oh, there's two week old baby zebras out there? Yeah. <laughs> Let me look at the line real quick. Now, um, I guess if you lose your annual pass holder card, they just shred it. That's at least what they told me. Are we doing this? Oh, okay, never mind. It's not 30 minutes. Ooh, that is not 30 minutes. Bummer. The line's already right here. Yeah, I'm not here for it anyways. Today's just resort hopping for medallions. Oh, there you go. I got like 16 more to go and I'm done. That's not too bad. Yeah. I saw over at Pirates, they had like the one the gold ones. They have one silver one, oh, yeah. 100th, and it's the Jack uh, Jack Gellington one. Nice. That's the only one there. Nice. You guys have, with everything, yeah. huh? you guys you have a wonderful time. Yeah, the line is already to the door. So it's definitely not a 30 minute wait. If it was a real 30 minute wait, I'd be like, all right, we can consider that, but no, it's not. All right. I guess you can't use your annual pass to buy things. Yeah, so I talked to him. I was like, any chance to get my uh, 100 Annual or 50th annual pass card back, and they're like, Nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time we were here, they didn't have all four of them available. All right. Nah, you're totally good, Amy R. It was very nice meeting you. It's not like I walk around the park and I'm just standing in the open, so it's a little hard to like catch me because I'll jump in a line as soon as I can see one. All right, here we go. We got the Pumba. We got Bambi right there. Uh, what is that? Um. 
that Mowgli or I don't remember. Jungle Book. And then we got up with yeah. These get really heavy too. <clears throat> Just for fun. Just for fun since we're already in the park. And that went really fast. And it's only been like eight minutes since we started. You know, it'd be cool to kind of go check on that single rider line over there. You know, big old mountain. I call it Everest. Good morning, C2C. Jeff David. Let's see uh, who else we got here. Lakin's Adventures. Good to have you. Eric Kent, good morning. Yes, 12 more to go. Jeff Cap, good to have you. Ali K, good morning. You guys want to see what I'm wearing today? I love pizza. We got the pizza up here on the sleeve. I'm wearing this one today because I'm going to pick up pizza later. Tonight. I'm going to get me a big old 24 inch Hawaiian pizza today. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. There's this pizza place right outside my place um, that served like massive 24 inch pizza. It's a little spendy, but you know what? It's enough pizza for like two days. No, not Papa John's. It's um, it's not a chain of pizza places. It's uh, it's just a pizza place. <laughs> I don't like pineapple on pizza, but I like your shirt. I mean, it's pretty cool, right? Like, Shelly made this. And then, like, the pizza slice up here with the... Here. I love pizza. Or you can just sell some hot dog water. All these are available on my website if you guys are interested. That website being roundonthego.com. You know the best thing about having a very custom name is nobody else has it, right? So if I went with like Ron's Wrong or something, you know, like it's like a name that's already been used. It would have been hard, but that's why when people are like, you should do Ron the Go, and I'm like, eh, Ron on the Go, it just, it just worked better. Julia C, good morning. Cindy, good morning. Marie, good morning. Nothing's wrong with common names. The problem is they're already bought, right? Ron on the go was easy. It was like, it wasn't a name, it wasn't anything yet. So when I went to purchase the website address and everything else around it, it was pretty easy to do. We might be on our way to Everest. We're just gonna go look since we're already here. We already got our first four medallions of the day. We literally have three more stops after this. There will be one security checkpoint throughout this day. I will have to take the monorail from the Polynesian to the Grand Floridian as the construction for the new DVC building doesn't have a walkway to the Grand Floridian yet. 
see Marie. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning, Nick. Yeah, Animal Kingdom is super busy as well. So I decided to just skip the ride portion of the day and go collect the last one. I literally have three more locations to go to that I know of. All-star movie, music, and sports completed. Contemporary. All four parks, right? So Magic Kingdom, Epcot, um, Hollywood Studios, we got those. Oh man, that Chick-fil-A last night, Woo! I barely made it out of the parking lot. I had them fries, gone. The waffle fries, gone. Chicken sandwich before I even hit 528, gone. Bought some mac and cheese for my son when he got home. Good morning. Guess there's a Yeti this way? We should go find it. Looks pretty busy. Single rider may not be a thing. We'll see. Yeah, single route is not that bad. Ooh, tripping on things. Good morning, Jazzo. One ride. Yeah, I don't like coming to Animal Kingdom on Fridays. That's kind of like everybody's last, like, either you go to Animal Kingdom on Friday because you just got here, and Animal Kingdom's usually you're like, all right, we're introduction to like the weekend of riding or going to the parks. I don't know, I just don't like Animal Kingdom. Oh, he's fine. Animal Kingdom is a zoo. It would be great if they added Zootopia to Animal Kingdom because then it would be technically a zoo. Not a Zootopia, zoo. Uh, Dwarf in Darkness, good morning. <laughs> I was on the way this morning, I was like, ooh, it's been a bad day already. My daughter did not want to get up. In fact, when I woke her up and I, I was getting her dressed, she laid back down and goes, all dressed, time for sleep. I was like, no, we gotta go. She's like, not today, daddy. It was super cute. So that was adorable. But then finally, I was like, I'll go put on Dora for you. She goes, I awake now, which was super sweet. And then um, after we watched Dora for like 20 minutes, she was like, okay, time for school. So that was cool. Um, and then we, let's see. Then I went to go get here. Let me show you what I saw today. So this is the second time in like three weeks or a month, whatever you want to call it. This has happened in the same spot. 
So there you go, everybody. So that's why I could have started at like 10, 10, honestly, over an hour ago. But because of the, the flipped over car right there on the freeway, um, coming onto I-4, uh, it took a while. Now the person is fine outside the car, just chilling there. Police are having a conversation with her. She's fine, situation is fine. No other cars involved. But it does seem to happen right there a lot. Like last month, there was a Jeep that flipped over in that exact same spot. Which I think I have a picture of that one too. Hold on, let me see. That was this month, so let's go a month back. We're still in June, May. Oh! oh. Like I said, the exact same spot. Just right lane instead of left lane. But right there, the exact same spot twice. And that one was May 23rd. It is what, May, June 23rd. So exactly one month apart, two flipped vehicles. Honky, Honky Kong, how you doing? Good to see you. No other cars were involved in either one of those I just showed you. Gotcha. Thank you. All right, that wasn't bad at all. Yep, I four every time. <laughs> it's just funny, Rob Lock, because I was like, man, exactly the twenty third of May, the twenty third of uh, uh, June. There's been a flip in the same spot, same more, like same time too. That's cool. No, we were gonna do it, but then the line for the safari went all the way outside of the safari area. So, and we don't have like a rush schedule, but we do gotta get going. That's a, I've never sat all the way in the back before. Dude, the back's like a limo. I love the back row. I want to sit in the back more often. It's so much more roomy. Oh my god. This is great.
gimbal didn't make it. We're all crooked now. Ugh. I'm dizzy. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. Ooh. I'm here. Jason, good morning. Well, if you guys enjoyed that, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, free to do. It's crazy, like it's been 24 minutes since we started. We've already picked up medallions and rode a roller coaster. Man, what a quick morning this has been. All right, let's go ride a bus. All day Everest is gonna hurt. I'm thinking like, I might get a little, a little too dizzy, but that's okay. It's just for one day, right? I don't know how many medallions there are in total. Now there's four loca three locations at All Star Resorts. That's twelve. There's two at Mag. There's two. Plus the one coin in magic, so there's 13, or there's nine there. So that's 21. There's only four here. 25. Epcot has eight. And uh, Hollywood Studios has eight. Now there's 16 there, so 41. Uh, each medallion costs about 20, uh, each set of four costs $20, but if you buy them individually, they're $6 each. No, the little books are just a, a collection point. There's like 80 sleeves inside of it, or like 80 spots inside of the book, but there's not 80 coins. Now this is gonna ruin me that day. Especially how quick we got off and on, or like how quick we got on Everest. I mean, I'm thinking like, we'll probably be able to ride it like 40 times. Oh God, that sounds horrible. No, the, some of the medallion locations don't change throughout the, like the 50th anniversary ones never change. Um, all these locations are the same locations they were when the 50th medallions were in. I just never did the 50th ones. I didn't find the gold ones. Very, I like the silver ones. I don't know. But I have a feeling I want some point in that day. I'm just going to be like, all right. I'm gonna have to take a moment to think about my life choices and what got me here. Birds are coming. Oh shoot, it's Kevin. Oh! Uh oh! <laughs> oh my god! Kevin's getting up. Yeah, I'm not 
Kevin, you get the last word. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, park's open for 12 hours. And those first, as long as single rider stays open, we probably ride it way too many times. Yes, I said way too many times, but I'll have to come over here and eight spoon cafe. Sorry, I saw something that said pulled pork something. Baked macaroni and cheese served with pulled pork. Call me. Okay, see, that, that one looks great. I love that one. Not so much the macaroni and cheese, but you put the pulled pork on it. Okay. Bye, Kevin. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> I'm all about quick service. If you guys, <laughs> I like, I like food now, like right now. That's why I like Chick Fil A. You order a chicken sandwich, boom, now. Oh my gosh. And in just 30 minutes, we're already on our way out of here. Even with as busy as Animal Kingdom is today, we were still able to get on, I think, what, Everest in a couple minutes. Yeah, <laughs> Wrecky Randy. I don't think uh, Everest is bad as Space, uh, Space Mountain, though. Because, you know, at least Everest, you know each corner is coming, you know where the drop, you know the, the plan, but like that, <laughs> Space Mountain gets you good. So, let's uh, welcome. Good morning, Blake. <laughs> Hi, my name's Ron. I'm gonna ride Everest all day. Ugh. There's no air conditioning except that one portion of the ride when you uh, go backwards and you wait for the Yeti to pull the track up. So. Hey, you know, feels like a hundred and something. God. <laughs> when my arm works, hold on. Um, we're gonna go over to. I'm thinking we start with uh, Fort Wilderness Lodge. And then we'll make our way over to uh, the Grand Floridian. Cause that's, and then, then we'll take the monorail to Polynesian. This is the easiest way to get around there. So there's Wilderness Lodge and there's Fort Wilderness Lodge. We need to go to the Fort one, cause the Fort one has the coins, not Wilderness. It's amazing how like almost by noon there's no line like from what I got here at 10:35 I've gotten crazy the line was all the way back to these buildings here at 10:30 Uh not really Wilderness Lodge is pretty remote 
Good morning, Matt. Megan G, good morning. Now we are going to be taking the bus. We'll be taking the monorail. We'll take a bus, a bus, a monorail. And then, depending on where we go after that, maybe two more buses or one bus. All depends on time. Oh, can't exit here. We have to go this way. Excuse me. Man, so much sunscreen. Oh, that was so much. I was like yesterday during Phantasmic because there were some bugs in the area, but it wasn't like mosquitoes or anything, they were just bugs. And man, they coated it. That was, that was rough. There was so much. Uh, no, I just used these Under Armour shoes that I, I, I tried in one day and I liked them. Heading to Fort. Fort Wilderness. Oh yeah. Twenty two. Which one's twenty two? Okay, I gotcha. Thank you. The master of the medallion is the keeper of the funeral. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Wreck it, Randy. <laughs> Let's see, we got Wilderness Lodge. We need Fort Wilderness. There is a difference. And I bet Fort Wilderness is right behind it. Yep. Boom. Man, I don't know how I do that. That's crazy. I haven't done a lot of things here. I know the wife would like to do the golf cart thing. Sorry. Thank you. Whew. Oh, we made it. Yeah, it's called Christmas in July. Is it this? 
Sweet potato pancakes. Don't mind me. Now, if you guys are wondering why Friday, why, why did you choose Friday to do this? Well, there was some inclement weather possible today. And the bus is a dry location. The lobbies of these hotels are dry locations. And uh, the bus stops are usually covered, so. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hi. And welcome aboard the Walt Disney World Transportation System. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. It was short. We're on our way to Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Campground. Never been there. Where you can enjoy the great outdoors on hundreds of acres of natural beauty. Sounds good. For your safety and the safety of others, please remain seated while the motor coach is in motion. Okay. If you're standing, we encourage you to use the handrails overhead or to the side and remain clear of the doors and stairwells. We ask that you refrain from eating, drinking, and smoking while aboard the motor coach. I don't smoke. And now, we invite you to relax and let us do the driving. You'll be on board. That was my plan. You guys do the driving, we do the viewing. Glad you're enjoying this, Julius C. Now we are parked way in the back, like all the way in the back. Like I'm gonna come back and take like when I go back to my vehicle, I'm taking the tram. Animal Kingdom is packed for parking. Good morning, Stephanie. JJ, Chris. Good morning. Let's see this, Jordan. Look down. We we just got the four so far. We're on our way. Shades of green.
fast. And like I said, that crowd layer, crowd, cloud. Baby, old Key West studio. Visitor, good to see you. Did you oh yeah, we definitely made Chick Fil A last night. Even I'll, and I also changed my park ticket last night for uh, the Halloween party in October last night. So I got that done too. Headed to Fort Wilderness Lodge. The 16 lands of the Magic Kingdom show. It's and that is the gate I go through like a hundred times a day. Feels like. Never gone this way. It really is the woods out here. private bus. 
It's got some shaky parts in it. Sounds like my Honda. <laughs> said he'll be here in eight more days. That's awesome. So soon. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, we're here. <laughs> it's how it really goes down. Yeah, my wife's a, a, she loves Disney, don't get me wrong, she's a fan of Disney, but um, as much as I come, she's like, nah, I, I couldn't do that. That's why this she's just like... Station. Connecting motor code service is provided to Epcot from Disney's and Volcano, Disney's Hollywood Studios, and Disney Springs. This is the place, huh? Is this the place? about this place. This is definitely not our stop, but we're here now. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I said we're learning today. Oh uh, yeah, it's probably over there. Meadow Trading Post or is that over there? Sorry? Meadow Trading Post? Uh, oops. Sorry. Is that 
No, it's um, the uh, three D post A is gonna be inside. Just you know, this one is behind me. Uh huh. Just ask them because we have like a tree. Three buses going inside. Oh, okay. See which one is gonna take. Got it. Oh, gotcha. Okay, we're good. So there's actually a whole bus system just for this resort. That is not. Let's go to Pineau Hall. This looks cool. I don't know what's going on. It's my first day. Yeah. Again, first time here, a lot of people. We're on the purple bus. all part of it right <laughs> it's just here I don't know where I'm going yeah so this is where you catch the resort buses so if you want to go to like or not resort but the park buses here but if you want to go to the rest of the resort you need to get on one of these other buses fun to me. Hoopty Doo Review. If you guys are in the area on June 30th and you have a Hoopty Doo Review ticket or whatever it is, dining pack was, I don't even know. Um, Grayson will be playing there on the 30th. Yeah, I've never been to Fort Wilderness either, obviously, <laughs> because I don't even know what we're doing. But man, talk about an insane amount of golf carts here. That's awesome. I've not seen the Hoopty Doo review either. Again, I I am a park person, so when it comes to all these other resorts and places to go and thing, I, I don't know.
morning, Mary, and yes, we did. We did make it to our wonderful, delicious sandwiches last night. Brought home my son some mac and cheese. He was so excited. I did as soon as we pulled up. That's <laughs> what I was looking at. I was like, okay. I have to stand back for the screen, otherwise, you can't see out the window. Screen wraps are cool and all, but man, even like just trying to look at them with your eye without the camera, it's hard to see anything. No, but I put pineapple on my Chick fil A sandwiches. Woo! So good. Yep, that's where we're heading, Rebecca. We didn't have a wrapped bus now. I really want to see all this. It looks awesome. No, I'm staying at Wilderness Lodge or Copper Creek Villas, which is the DVC resort. We're staying in a one bedroom villa. Y'all, you got some of that pineapple with you? Uh, no, we're not picking up the, the glass today. I'm literally doing this. Getting back to Animal Kingdom and then I got I got work to do. And I got to pick up pizza and stuff for tonight before Shelly gets home. This is so. Bobcat Arrowhead Way and Shawnee Bend. Did you just say there's like Chick-fil-A in Cairo, Egypt? What's going on, Ryan? This is 
is about 2,000. Servicing either way. Good morning, Egg. What's going on, Craig? Truck Roundup, nightly from 5.30 to 9.30. Okay, I like that. It's fine, I just wanna look around now.
I mean, since we're here. Horse drawn excursions. Today's adventures. Let's see how we carriage rides. Ooh. Ooh, they even put the price on it right away. Wagon rides are only 12 bucks. Rides may be canceled due to the weather. Yeah. Oh, so this is Hoopty right here. This is where the where Grayson's gonna be this Friday. Or not, is it this Friday? Next Friday, next Friday. We should have just rented the golf cart and made this easier. <laughs> there it is. Come down to the hoop de doo review. Shows at 4, 6, 15, and 8, 30, Wednesday through Sunday. All you can eat. Home style. Fried chicken, smoked pork ribs. Ah, oh, smoked pork ribs. <laughs> Plenty of sides and fixings. Um, with, and mama's famous dessert. Wine and sodas planted. Show dinner and beverage. I love this. this is, take my money. <laughs> I was kind of holding off on doing the stream until, you know, Grayson was uh, in it. Yeah, I know. I saw, I saw ribs and fried chicken. I'm like, mm hmm. Okay. I'm not going to say no to that. Check this out. We can take the Magic Kingdom bus or boat. Food truck roundup. There is a food truck. Or I wouldn't say. Yes, the food truck. Here right now, but. See, this is something I would want to bring my wife to. She probably would not enjoy it at all, but I'd make her go. <laughs> But she'll see the campground and uh, the cabins and everything and be like, oh, we're doing that. How are we oh, doing? Good, good. Oh, man. Not bad for pricing. Steve. Not bad. Looks like there's a lot of construction going on here. Or not construction, but like just working. JJ Mickey, what's going on? Let's just see what's in here. If it's open. It doesn't seem very busy here, but most resorts don't. And then look back there. All those golf carts. It's a crazy thing how many golf carts they get rented out during that uh Halloween and Christmas time. Today's stuff to do. Mickey tie-dye from five, four to five. Patriotic rooms. Pool side. We got... Oh, this is for the July 1st to the 4th weekend. Okay. Golf cart extravaganza. Staging located. There's a golf cart extravaganza? Man, that sounds pretty cool. Let's head on inside. This is supposedly the place. Weird. It's weird to see ears and then you're like in the middle of the woods. <laughs> Oh man, we can be out in the middle of nowhere and still get ourselves a monster. This place has got me okay. Alright, so somebody told me we need to take the yellow bus to go catch our next location. It's pretty cool.
Yellow and get off around 1400. Got it. I'll see back to that bus. I thought I was at Bucky's for a second. <laughs> Ooh. So this whole building is currently closed right now, it looks like, unless they have like another pathway in. Let me see. Let's see. I see a lot of construction work is going in and out. So I think that this one, yeah, this is all closed off right now. Oh, looks like our buses are showing up. Or is that our bus? That's the one we rode here. There's Pioneer Hall. We'll have to do that soon. Ah, I love maps, man. So there's one thing I love, it's a map. It's a map. We are at the settlement right now, for those who are wondering. That's up there. And, and we need to go to Meadow Trading Post, as you can see, we took the purple route. Oh, I love map. oh my gosh, you guys have no idea how much I love maps. If we would've had this at the beginning, we probably wouldn't have came over here and I would've been mad at myself we didn't go over there. So, we just took the purple route here. Right, and we came here. We walked up in this area, up there. Now we're gonna jump back on the bus. We're gonna take the orange bus, which has a stop here. And then we walk over to the Meadow Trading Post. And then we're gonna get back on that bus there and then go back here and we're gonna take the boat back over to Magic Kingdom. But, if I just had a map, I would've paid attention more to what I was doing. So, let's go get us a yellow bus. Oh no, I love maps. No, there's, there's no sense of direct. Maps, maps, maps. I can't wait to do dive maps and other maps. Maps on maps. All right, how do you know which one's yellow? Parking. I'm parking. Outpost orange. And that one's gonna be Magic Kingdom. All right. Hey. We're late over there, sir. Okay. I'll pick you up over there around the corner. Are you yellow or? I am going to the, uh, uh, to Wilderness Lodge. Oh. The yellow. I don't see it yet. Okay. No, he, he should be coming at this way though. Okay, yeah. thank you. Do you want me to get on orange? I'll get on orange. I'll get on orange, it's fine. Is this map over here? There's gotta be a map. Let's see. But if we got on yellow, then we can walk through everything. Okay. Do 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 do. Okay. I mean, we started here, rode around, stopped, stop, stop, stop. And then this area right here, it looks like they built for expansion, but they just haven't done it, so there's room for expanding. 
Shelly sees these, she's going to want to stay in them. Well, yellow's not here, so if orange gets over here, we'll just ride orange. Parking and outdoor storage. How long do you think it would take to walk that path? I mean, that's a pretty hefty path. What's going on, J-Rock does stuff? New DVC cabins. I don't know anything about that. I know they have the DVC cabins at Wilderness Lodge that, or well, they're DVC cabins. But yeah, those things crazy. Pool, the hot tub outside, enclosed areas. I mean, it's it's pretty nice. I'm hoping that, like I said, the reason why we haven't gone to Hobie to do is well, one of them is my wife's schedule, right? I cannot unfortunately do a lot of things with her schedule the way she works and everything and when i gotta pick up my kids there's no way for us to do all these things but soon soon we'll be able to hopefully she gets this new job we'll be able to do a whole bunch of different stuff that we've not done i'm only limited what spot is that 800 um Just, if you get to stay at the bungalows at the poly, make sure you try to get the one as far left as possible. You don't want anything near the ferry route because the ferry boats they honk and they go pretty late. Yeah, those cabins are crazy, no joke. Beastie Boys video.
This is stop 600 through 800, servicing Sunny Sage Way, Cinnamon Fern Way, and Jackrabbit Run. Sounds good to me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is cool. song right now my wife doesn't even bother me anyway let's see this is cool check out these spots man okay so I have some family members who travel per RV and everything and these are massive spots we got hose hookups, drainage, a table, your little barbecue thing over there. I mean, that's a lot of space. Some trees around it, right? It's not too, too open. Like maybe this spot may be a little open to the next vehicle next to you, but like otherwise than that, it's, it's nice. Good to know, DVC Kev. Well, as a DVC member, it sounds pretty cool. Caitlin, welcome, and uh, were you still ninja watching? We are at Fort Wilderness Lodge, out for a walk. It's weird to be in a, such a dense area, right? Orlando area and then like, this is, I mean, this is pretty much I would say urban camping. It's very wilderness, but we all know like Orlando's right there. Okay. There's another bus stop for those who need one. Love all the bug noises. All right, here we go. Another cool little store. Hey, everybody! We got Pocahontas, I'm turning red, we got, ooh, Judy Hopps, and that one thing. Got him. We got Pocahontas there. Good Judy Hops. Nicholas Wild. We 
go. And... Ooh, ah, oh, yes, the slot. Is that the... It's $29.99, that is the markdown. Yeah, because everything is 30% off the... the it just... Just the fun in the sun. The Toy Story ones. Yeah. Not all of them. Oh, I got it. Yeah, because this is $29.99. And it made up $20. Oh, all right. $20.99. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. All right. That one took a while. That was fun, though. I, I really enjoyed it. Hmm. I want one. I don't need one right now, but I want one. Yeah, we're good. Oh, they carry the barbecue ones, but if you ever get the honey barbecue lays, oh, it's so good. Now this is... Well this is nice. <laughs> Sorry, just... <gasps> There's the water park. Or not water park, but you know, the, the water and... Thought I heard a waterfall. Can you enjoy uh, enjoy everything at Four Wilderness without staying there? Well, it's not, um, depends. Like obviously, you're supposed to be staying here if you go to the water, uh, like the pool area and stuff like that. But, like walking around the resort, go rent the, bike or you know rent golf cars stuff like that yeah just come on by that's what we're doing that's what we're showing now that's some brown water <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I've uh, done it before with the family. With the, the campfire and everything. Rent fishing gear here? You can rent fishing gear here? What? Due to drought like conditions. Please see a bike barn. Oh man, that's a bummer. Hi. So a kayak is $13 for an hour. Or is that a canoe? Oh, that's a canoe. Ka oh, yeah, kayak. Canoe. Same price. A bicycle for an hour is also. Fishing gear is $16 for the whole day or $10 for 30 minutes. Worms are wigglers. <laughs> Worms are wigglers. Ooh, there's a premium fireworks cruise for $399. Includes the driver for up to 10 guests for $399. Hmm. I don't know 10 people, but I can find 10 people. Guided bass fishing excursion, five guests maximum. Starting at 235 for two hours or 455 for four hour trip. Wilderness back trail adventure. Okay, and wilderness archery experience. 
Hmm, I, I like, I'm liking the fireworks crews for 10 people at 400. But it says starting at 400, so. We're open from 9 to 7, I think we saw what you And you just walk up whenever, okay. Hey, come over there and ask for a little side bag. You got 903 here. <laughs> I think the kid probably had it right and somebody already got it. It's cool. Just, just keep walking around. Oh, here's the archery area. Okay, we got golf cart parking. Chippendale campfire sing along. Ooh, well, I didn't know that was a thing. Chippendale fire. Uh, okay. Well, that sounds fun. Not... <sighs> Let's see. We got archery back here. No, I don't know anything about that. The shoe thing. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Shuffleboard? Ugh, that's one of the things Shelly loves doing when we're on the cruise is playing shuffleboard. Yep, we already saw the food truck area. Big old swimming pool area too. a perfect day for this by the way not too hot let's cut through here there's our bus stop over there This is pretty cool. I can definitely see what they mean by the water level being down though. It is definitely down. It has not rained much. Like we have rain come through, but not enough to saturate Florida. This place is cool. I can't show Shelly this place now. She'll want to stay here. All right, show you what's going on. We are currently right here. We just walked from that bus stop here over down through the store around the pool and everything we're gonna ride this up here we're gonna get on the boat head off to magic kingdom and then get on the monorail that is at least my plan we'll see how that works out oh 
Ooh, the trash can. See that? The universe didn't want me to have a water, so we got a monster. It's all out of water. Like sugar. It tastes like sugar. Well, thanks for being here, everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying our little tour. Like a shortened version. Uh, sweating real bad now. There we go. My bag makes no bus yet. Can I walk to the closer bus? Hold on. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. Maps. We're back here. We were up there a minute ago. Where that's where we're going back to. We take the boat because. It's pretty awesome taking the boat to Magic Kingdom. The temperature has definitely got a lot warmer. <laughs> yeah, just so I can throw some out. Like, hey everybody, you guys going this way? We come back here again, or if I ever stay here, we gotta rent one of those. I just realized something. They don't have a um, 
a ma uh, Magic Kingdom stop here. The only way to get a Magic Kingdom is up there. Or, and also up here is where you can catch the Magic Kingdom bus. But that, hmm, interesting. I don't know if the bus is on a schedule, but it's okay. Again, it's all part of the fun. This is why most people vlog these resort tour things. And sometimes there's a lot of waiting. It's kind of like, you know, waiting for a ride. You got to wait in line, wait for it to show up. I got a Universal. I just vlog Universal. It's easier, especially with the, um, looks like you can't, you know, there's no rides or anything like that. Where are you trying to go? We're trying to go to the front. He's saying he's going to meet you over there. Okay. There you go. Just enough time to have a drink. All right. Man, that humidity just got really high. Really fast. All right, so let's talk about some uh, future things. Of course, tomorrow evening we'll be at Hollywood Studios where uh, we're going to be watching Fantasmic, doing those things. Um, that's tomorrow evening. Uh, Sunday morning we'll be at Magic Kingdom in the morning. We're gonna pick up our cup on Sunday. Right? Yeah, something like that. Sunday. And then next week will be morning time streams as uh, I won't be uh, able to uh, live stream in the evenings next week. So, all mornings. This place is huge. But there's three different bus routes. This place is so big. Don't step on them, Quest 360. They hurt. Welcome, Inez. Um, let's see what else. Uh, else we got going on. We got that, that all week then of course July 3rd we'll be at Magic Kingdom 
And it's going to be an all day Magic Kingdom stream. It's going to be, it's going to be hot. <laughs> It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be busy, and there's gonna be some fireworks. Oh, look at the minivan. Cool. Um, let's see. And somebody asked. Blue Moon. Blue Moon asked. We are at Fort Wilderness Lodge. We're not at Wilderness Lodge. We're at Fort Wilderness Lodge, which is the campground area. It's my first time here. So, yeah, I don't have any idea what's going on. So, um. I probably just missed the bus, most likely. It's literally my first time. That's right, Nikki. <laughs> Oh, that's not. I'm I'm under the. See, the thing is, it might be hot or not hot, but it might be. It's not actually that hot out. Um, but we're under this, so the sun's not on us, and, and that's all you have to do to stay nice and comfortable here. That's why we're not walking to the uh, the boat spot. I would actually probably. I don't know. That that's a rough walk. It's it, the humidity is is up there today for sure. Let's see, we got <laughs> Thanks Nikki. <laughs> I got your I just got your message on a Venmo. Thank you, Nikki, for the Venmo. Uh yeah, and no, I, I got it. it. It just it seemed to uh just go through now. But it's backdated. Weird. Thank you, Nikki. Greatly appreciate it. I, I think that would be kind of awkward to be uh, walking around campgrounds and everything with the uh, live stream. Now, during like Halloween or something with all the decorations, that's one thing. But you, you gotta you gotta think about you know people's personal stuff. Get rid of that one, get rid of that one, get rid of that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. I think that bus that went that way is the same bus that's probably going to pick us up. I don't know, good, good knowledge for me in the future. I, I mean, I didn't, like I said, it's my first day. <laughs> Let's see, it's because like right now we're here. Even if we were right, still right here. That doesn't look far on a map. Well, that bus was driving for a couple minutes.
I'm very interested to see where they put the DVC ones at. I mean, they could... They have a, a purple loop right here that they could just expand on there, but... I have a feeling if they're going to do it, they're going to do it somewhere in here. Ramon, good to see you. Always great to have you. Ooh, we got activity log. I mean, that does look fun, right? You got the, the Chippendale Campfire sing-along right there. Chippendale's Campfire sing-along airs Wednesday through Sunday, 8 p.m. for a rootin' tootin' campfire sing-along. Do they sing, though? Pretty sure they don't sing. hoop to do review. <laughs> the boat. <laughs> Disney Fort Girl said we went to a favorite. Well, we're probably like a couple minutes from the boat, uh, the bus. And like I said, it's, it's not a big deal. We got time. Kind of. I mean, we do, but we don't. But yeah. Oh, well that's a bummer. I feel like there's there's room to just add on instead of like hoop de doo to the campfire. That sounds like a good night. Hello. Man, don't miss the bus. <laughs> there we go. We learned something today. Don't miss the bus. Let's see. We got here. I first monster. I reset it. It's been 15 minutes since then. So the bus should be here any minute. I mean, that's what I do, Kyle. When nobody wants to go. Just, uh, just go. Just go. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> Ron had to stop. No joke. <laughs> and then we're gonna have to wait for the bus, the boat. That one was cool. It was all woodied out. Uh huh. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. <laughs> A 
this hog on that side. Put it on a hog. The road to Everest. That was the bus. Yeah, so I, I just missed the bus when I walked over here. So, that's alright. <gasps> well, I thought my bag was open. That would have been a bummer. Oh, wow. Look how slow he's driving. Well, that explains why. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, okay, he's picked up the pace now. A minute ago, though. Woo! That is the same bus driver. So there's only one bus in this route. Ooh, it's cold in here. Huge dog park out there. Little playground area. This is stop 305. So it's in Cypress Key Circle and Buffalo Bed. I promise, Princess, I have done it once, but uh, for some reason the cast members always tell us that it's not allowed to be recorded, and I, I've asked um, from a manager before if it's allowed, they're like, yep, yeah, you can, but um, I just don't argue with it, so we stay away from it.
Um, I don't know if there's a public area for parking, but I know that if you're not staying at a resort or anything like that, you do have to pay for parking. So, as an annual pass holder, I just um, park at the like a, one of the parks. So today we parked at Animal Kingdom, and uh, and then I just go about my day doing this stuff. The boat's here. Ugh. Come on. Oh no, I don't know about the Cambrian part. No. Again, this is my first time here. So I don't know much about the area. That's one thing that's fun about these medallion collections. Is that uh heck yeah. The medallion collection thing is like we go to go to places I haven't been before or things I haven't done. Let's see if we can catch this bottom. I think we're gonna miss this one. Not yet. Oh, this is good ice cream. When did the ice cream get here? Ah, oh, man. He's getting on the boat. Sand. How you doing? Pretty good. Thank you. Are we allowed to sit up front? Yes, cool. you can. Okay, cool. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Cool. We made it. It's just hot. crazy now. <laughs> What's up, Street Finder? <laughs> yeah, they're waiting for me. That's exactly why they were waiting. It's just like humidity is just heavy today. Well, maybe because of where we are, because now I'm on the boat, it doesn't feel as humid anymore. It's 83 feels like 90, 73% humidity. Yeah, it's it's very humid now. 73% humidity is pretty high. What he said. And away here we go. I guess I can put this umbrella away. Otherwise, get up in there.
Alright, we're gonna head to Magic Kingdom. Oh man, never mind. I gotta pull the umbrella back out. Alright, there we go. So it's currently nine, uh, 86, feels like 90, which I don't believe. That humidity factor. Woo! There we go. And now we're charging. This is nice. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad for you all. Ah, Justin B celebrates three months as a member. Thank you so much, Justin B. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much, Justin B. With the 999 as well. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. A double there. Thank you, Justin B. We are on our way, by the way, everybody, to Magic Kingdom by the boat. Be the boat, by the boat. That looks wild. Any gators? Any swamp puppies? No. It probably is. We'd have to look a little harder. I didn't realize this you get these boats on Uber. <laughs> I like that. So that is where I'm staying. Uh, that's Fort Wilderness Lodge or Fort Wilderness Lodge or Copper Creek Villas for the DVC portion. I'll be staying there for my Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving, the day before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, and then we check out the day after Thanksgiving. We'll be staying in a one bedroom there making our uh, Thanksgiving dinner and everything inside the room. I'm gonna put the turkey in while I'm at the park in the morning. And then uh, about one, two o'clock, I'll head back over. They'll be about playing in the pool. Food be cooking, it's gonna be great. I've stayed here before in the uh, DVC building as well, the Bay Lake Tower. Uh, we stayed in a one bedroom right off there. And my son got sick on that trip, which is kind of a bummer, but I mean, it happens <laughs> he was just like I want to go see Mickey I'm like we're, we're gonna just stay in the room I was like, oh I just wanted to go see Mickey this is like 2017 18 2018 and we were in the room trying to figure out what that loud noise was it was the water electrical parade uh, cruising through here and we could hear it into our room it was so loud Threw my can on the on the boat. So my uh, two home DVZ resorts, these are our DVC members. We have the one in Alani, right? Cause we lived in Washington. And what does everybody want to go in Washington? To Hawaii. So we got the Alani one. And then we got one here at Copper Creek Villas, which is Wilderness Lodge Resort. So we have two two home resorts here. And Elijah just be, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I can barely read it so bright right now. Justin B with the thing. And, Uh, Elis, uh, Elis, uh, am I saying that right? Elis, well, thank you so much for becoming a channel member. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm sorry if I'm saying names bad. I also can not even read my screen. So if I'm not reading you guys' message right now, it's not on purpose. I just like, it's really hard to see anything. Um, 
Christian said you can make C racers, but tennis ball, it was. You're talking about the C ray ones that you can rent here? Come on, monorail. No? I've come through here before double monorail. Oh, yeah, words are hard. Especially for Ron. We all know Ron has a hard time with words. And I dropped the battery on my ankle, so that feels really great right now. You call them swamp puppies and murder, murder logs. I call them misunderstood. <laughs> so right below us, if you guys look, there's the road that takes you to Magic Kingdom, bus parking, and the contemporary, and we're on water. So they did build a bridge that, you know, it's pretty cool. It's a great idea. And Jen, oh, Jen just renewed her membership. Thank you so much, Jen. You guys, help. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I seriously greatly appreciate all of it. Just Run Spin just became, oh my gosh, what is happening right now? Thank you, Just Run Spin. Oh my gosh. Joey G celebrates two months of membership. Oh wait, I just realized I had one of these things waiting too. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Joey G. Oh my gosh, what we got? We got Jen. And Just Run Spin just now, and then now Joey G with the, the, the oh man. And Josh is gifted event. Oh, we, we got fireworks on the way in too. Man. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> June 27th, Disney is going to introduce park specific Genie Plus. Ooh, that's interesting. Thanks you, Jane, for watching and everybody else for being here. I know it's a it's a different style of uh, live stream here. So what's gonna happen now? We're gonna go through security. I was hoping to avoid doing double security, but we're going to have to do two security checks today. We're going to go to uh, this one right over here. Right after that, we'll get on the monorail, head our way over to the Polynesian. From the Polynesian, we'll go back upstairs to get the monorail again. And uh, go over to the Grand Floridian, clutch our last medallion location that I know of that exists. And then uh, I gotta get back to Animal Kingdom. So it's all gonna happen kinda quick now. We all, just to be fair, we all know the Polynesian and the Grand Floridian pretty well, right? I mean, I've been the Polynesian, I've been to the Polynesian a couple times. And, uh, The Grand Floridian Lobby, unfortunately, is under construction right now for uh, refurb, or whatever they're doing, the uh, rebrand. Oh, I totally haven't done this today. If you guys enjoy what you see here, hit the like button, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Love the support, and it's free to do.
there's a lily bell. Monorail! Let's start putting cables away. Alright, we'll charge the battery in a little bit. Resort monorail is already on the way. Let's see if we can get on that one. No, we're gonna miss that one. Pulled up yet? It hasn't pulled up yet. Oh, it's just pulling up. Well, as long as I don't have to search all my stuff, we should make that monorail. But that's hopeful thinking. All right. Every time. All right, we're through. But now the. Are we gonna make it? Probably should have took the express monorail. All right, we're through, and we're on. Yeah, for the monorail line, our next stop will be the Contemporary Resort. If you are standing, please hold on to the silver handrails and do not lean against the automatic doors. <laughs> Kaylin's not wrong about that one. Barely made the Port Wilderness in this bus. We welcome you aboard our highway in the sky. Took uh, yellow. We did wait for that one that one bus for a while, but barely made the boat, barely made the monorail. It's going great. Was that Magic Kingdom? Man, I want to go there. I haven't been there in like two days.
from Elijah. Elliot's my dragon. away from finishing the, all the medallions they have available at Walt Disney World. Two medallion locations, so eight more to go. I had to return to Aston Martin. No, no, no Lynn, I'll, I'll take the Aston Martin. Um, if you don't know, I'm a big fan of the DB9 Aston Martin. I love the DB9, it's my favorite model. Don't get it wrong, the DB11 looks amazing. Good afternoon, Monorail Live. Our next stop will be the Ticket to Transportation Center where you can get a connecting monorail to Epcot. If you are standing, please hold on to the silver handrails and do not lean against the doors. I like the DB11. DB9 is something about Casino Royale and watching them flip the DB9. Just loved it. If you've just joined us, welcome aboard. For those of you who think, stop over the transportation and ticket center, which includes Magic Kingdom car and bus parking. To the right is Disney created 7 feet lagoon. I mean, Jeff Davis, I'm not saying no to that, that orange right there. Check out the resort over here. And paint the number nine on it. <laughs> DB9 number nine. DB9 skirt car. And now John H has just become a oh, John just became uh, a channel member. Thank you so much, John. Don't read the big giant pineapple decal on the front of the car, yeah. It says I love pizza on it. Our next stop is Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, with continuing service to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, and the Magic Kingdom. It's 
smoking pot. Good evening or afternoon. Wow, we're at evening already. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have a moment. We are 23 more people away from hitting 16,000. Hold on, I'll show you. We are 23 more friends, channel members, member, not channel members, sorry, subscribers. We are 23 away from 400. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's free to do, and it helps us out here a tremendous amount. When this cruise is made straight to Nottingham trying to bring attention to myself. How embarrassing. How to get around. Yeah, uh, Disney villain, yeah, no, I've, that's why I use the Disney transportation. Like, yeah, we could use an Uber, we could use the minivan system, we could use, but like, why spend money or do things or drive when Disney literally has the system in place to use? I don't, I mean, it just blows my mind. Don't get me wrong, I mean, you gotta remember, I'm not on vacation, so <laughs> the time is okay, but I understand if you're on vacation, your time is valuable, right? You got, you got to get around. So the route I'm taking today is not something you should do. Especially if you're trying to utilize your time as best as possible. I'm just showing you all the different ways you could. One more to go. Thank you, everybody. Good afternoon, Monorail Line. Our next stop will be the Polynesian Resort. If you are standing, please hold on to the silver handrails and do not lean against the automatic doors. Next stop is our stop. Oh yeah, if you just want to walk, you know, you go resort to resort, you know, park to park and everything like that, you know, and not park to park, but like, you know, you want to go check out Wilderness Lodge, or you want to come over here to the Polynesian Grand Floridian. Like, we've taken buses, we've taken a boat, we've taken a monorail now. The only thing we didn't take today was like, the last one would be the Skyliner. Rosie said, okay, this is my first June bonus show. Nice to Well, thank you for being here, Pink. I think you subscribe is greatly appreciated. Yeah. I never noticed. All the nation. Alright, we gotta go collect some coins here. We don't have time for Skyliner. I literally have an hour to get here, Grand Floridian, and back to Animal before I have to get out of here. You just smell it. It's amazing every time you walk in here. All right, now we can slow down. I'm just getting out of everybody's way. Now this is an easy medallion location. Very easy to find. In fact, if I did it fast enough, I probably could get the medallions to get back on that same monorail. We'll just catch the next one. But this is the lobby. Super nice. 
Um, down below, you can get Dole Whips. Here, we can actually walk over to the window. The coin is right next to us. I'll, I'll show you guys in just a second, but. You can literally get Dole Whips right there. If you want to watch the fireworks without sitting in the sand, right, because some, you don't want your kid throwing sand at it or anything, you can actually watch the fireworks from the grass right here. They still pump the music up there, so you still can see it and everything. You have the pool, beautiful views. You can see Cinderella's castle from here. It's a wonderful spot. Me and, uh, me and the kids and the wife come here quite often. When we're not live streaming, this is what we do. We come here and get Poly go to the Polynesian. We eat some Dole Whip and we just kind of hang out. It makes us feel like we're in Hawaii. And even though we live in Florida, it's the same tropical weather pretty much and everything. My son loves Hawaii, so every time he comes here, he's like, this reminds me of Alani. And that's his favorite place. Can you watch the fireworks without staying here? Yes, you can. Like I, said, I just said, like, we do it often. All right, here we go. Next medallion set. We got the orange bird. We got Ariel. We got Moana. With, uh, and we got Stitch. All right, that one went through. We're gonna catch that next monorail, so. Orange bird, Ariel, one, stitch, ah yeah. One more station to go after this. So we got stitch upside down right there. We got the Moana one. Ooh, and there she is. Ariel. I'm pretty sure with the amount of coins that's in my bag now, the, my metal detector is actually going to go off on my bag because I got them all stacked up. But this is the Polynesian. Two gift, we got the lower gift shop down there. We have the upper gift shop up here. This is Moana, Moana Mercantile, right? You get your drinks your snacks and stuff over here and then over here you can get all your cool merchandise and everything love the music cannot wait to go to Alani this November we're going I've made it we're gonna make it possible and we're gonna be gone for like about a week everybody so we're gonna be gone for like eight days so there'll be an eight day stretch where we won't be at the parks in November I don't know what they're made of. Metal? I'm not sure. Alright, this next monorail is going to show up in just a minute. So I'm going to look around for just a minute more and then we're going to get outside so we can catch that next one over to the Grand Floridian. But there you go. Oh, this is a perfect spot right here. Check this out. There's Cinderella's castle, everybody. I can see it from right here in the lobby. Which means if you're standing here, during the fireworks show, you could see the fireworks from right here. This is what I actually did when my daughter was with me because my daughter is scared of fireworks. So I stood in here with her. We sat down here on the bench and we watched fireworks from inside the building. All right, our monorail's here. All right. Hold on a second. Oh, it's not on. And there we go. Cool. And off we go to our next location. Now the waterfall is in front of the building, or not in front of the uh, hotel. This is fine. All right, so we're gonna go by the new DVC construction on our left, on our right, I mean, as we come through, so.
Please continue to the car and make room for everyone. If you're standing, please hold on to the handrails and stay the bigger of the door. The monorail will depart momentarily. Thank you. Again, you can see how easy it is to go in and out of these resorts, move around and everything. This is not something special in El Paso or anything. You can do this yourself. Wow, that one close hard. Let's say you don't got a park ticket, but you want to come and experience the resort. Welcome aboard Ball Arch. If you're standing, please hold on to the handrails and do not lean on the doors. Thank you. KJ Dino, great to see you. Um, Going good. We got one more resort to start by right now. We're gonna go to the Polynesian. I mean, the, I'm sorry. I saw the sign for Polynesian. Heading to the Grand Floridian now. While on our way to Grand Floridian, we're gonna go by the new DVC, uh, the Polynesian's new DVC building. It has come along a lot in the little time that they have worked on it. I say a little time because usually you don't see construction at this rate, but it is all mod like. All these pieces are trucked in every day. So it's not like they're building them on site pouring concrete. These are pre-poured concrete pieces. I mean, look at this thing. This monorail is definitely air conditioned. It feels great. I mean, look how small they look compared to like the size of this place. So you can see there's a lot going on. I'm very interested to see what their finishing product would look like. So there's the walkway right down there that takes you from the uh, Polynesian to the Grand Floridian. So that's the reason why we have to take the monorail. The walkway is closed between the two. Otherwise we would have just walked over. Can you tell me? Um, actual chest visitor, I, I don't know the dimensions of them right at this moment. I'm pretty sure somebody could tell you how big the coins are but I mean they're not huge they do sell the little books that collect them now I've stayed here at the Grand Floridian in a one-bedroom DVC room and I tell you what man that was nice tons of room lots of space kitchen was massive actually it was this building right here um, You can actually check it out in my room tour videos. I have a bunch of room tour videos of different hotels we've stayed at. So obviously the Polynesian, Grand Floridian. Um, I can't remember if we did a Bay Lake Tower one. Yes, we did do a Bay Lake Tower one. A um, couple other resorts. Of course, the ones in Alani. Those ones I need to redo. I did those back when I was new to vlogging and everything. So the Alani ones were like 2019. If you ever want to check out some of my room tours, they are available. And the reason I do room tours is because that's how many times I've been like, what does the room look like? Yeah, I have a room tour of a Hampton Inn. <laughs> and people are like, why did you room tour a Hampton Inn? They're all the same. They are not the same. Oh, the Maroon. Maroon. Uh, Maureen. So sitting in the Grand Floridian pool as you pass by. That's awesome. Next stop, Grand. Now I've heard the Grand Floridian is completely under construction in the lobby area, so see how that goes. Oh yeah, look at the plants as I guess scream around. I can hear a chisel gun. Okay, oh man, that is super simple. There you go, everybody. 
100 medallion coins right next to the monorail location. We've got, what is this? Tiana, we got Mary Poppins, we got Wally. I thought I already had the Wally one. At the Grant, at the Epcot. By the way, this is the last machine. This is the last one, everybody. And this. Oh. Never mind, you can't still. Okay, so oh, not all of the lobby is closed off. Oh man, I've done work like that before. <laughs> Never used one of those before. Those are cool. The articulate, these are called articulating jib booms. Because they have a jib on them. Uh, yeah, I used to work on these. What is this? Let's see, JLG 70 footer. Yeah, 70 foot articulating jib. Yep. Here we go. We got some coins here. Got Alice. Try not to drop them downstairs. <laughs> Out of them bad. We got the Wally one, which I thought I already had the Wally one, but okay. I'll have to look it up and see what I. We got Mary Poppins, y'all. And yeah, Tiana. All right, let's put those in the bag. That was the last hundredth anniversary medallion location. Man, like I'm all confident in myself in using these things, but being that close to that chandelier, <sighs> yeah. Uh, I probably about five minutes into a job opening. <laughs> there it is. Let's see. So we're at the Grand Floridian right now. Hold on. Disney Comp. Grand Floridian. It's the Wally one. Okay, now where's the Epcot one? I'm reviewing my coins real quick. Hold on. Oh, I got my, okay, I got BB-8 confused with Wally. Never mind. Anyway, I don't come to the Grand Floridian very often. Um, probably should change that, but. Pretty cool. Like I said, those. There's times when I see equipment like this where I'm like, man, I kind of miss my old job. And then I remember how bad my shoulders hurt and everything from wearing hot fall gear all day. And I'm like, nah, never mind. How dare I confuse the two? <laughs> Not my shoulder, just my shoulder. But yeah. So uh, this is the DVC uh, wing over here. Uh, we parked in this area. Not today, I'm talking about what we said. And then you walk right over and the pool's right there. It's super convenient. Um, it's a pretty nice place. And then the boat transportation, if you want to take the boat, is way over there. So if you are staying DVC, the best thing to do is come over and take the monorail. It is, the monorail to Magic Kingdom is the next stop, so smart. I've actually never been in here, so hold on. Just wanna do a quick walk around. Hundreds, 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 ears. Remember how famous those drip ears were and then like, boom, they were gone. Like, I'm surprised they, like, they didn't come back and do like a second run of them. <sighs> Who's in charge of business marketing? My son was not too impressed with the pool here at the Polynesian. 
uh, I said a Polynesian, sorry, not the Polynesian. He loves the Polynesian pool. Um, the uh, Grand Floridian here. So, I mean, my, my daughter will go into splash pads now, but she's like, we couldn't get her even to go near it. The slide is pretty decent on the, uh, the pool there, but. Oh, the medallion holder. Hold on. I'll show you guys what the medallion holder looks like. I have one already. Let's see. Where did they put them? If they have them here. It's going to be with all the 100 stuff. But I've mostly only seen the 100th anniversary medallion holders at the parks. Uh, I am not seeing... One here, hold on. I do not see it here. It's okay, because we got to get back to Animal Kingdom at this point. I'm running out of time. Let's go take the Grand Staircase. I don't know if there's a Maui meet and Is there a Maui meet and greet? I mean, I feel like that one would be huge. If you guys uh, see that in the beginning, or the thumbnail of the, the video today, um, to the left of the coins that you see in the picture, that is the medallion holder. There is 80 slots for coins in there. Um, so DVC is, is one of those things like it's not for everybody totally Would never uh, tell people to go do it unless you like the vacation like that. So we Loved it because we knew that we had points every year It made us know that we were gonna go on a vacation And the only thing we needed was like airplane tickets and stuff and we thought like well if we ever move to Florida we can just do staycations here at the resorts but still feel like we're on vacation. We'll go to the store, we'll get some stuff, we'll bring it to the room, we'll go to the parks. And we've already done that a couple times since moving here. So we like it. Even with us living here, we're not getting rid of it. We're not we're not gonna sell our stuff back off or anything. The nice thing about the uh, DVC points, right, is it's not, you're not locked into a certain time. Hollywood Studios is here. Okay. Um, say you want to go to, um, what do you call it? Vero Beach, right? Vero Beach is out of the way of Disney. We're still in Florida, but Vero Beach is like two hours, two hours away from where I live. Almost two hours. It's nice to just be able, to like, hey, we're gonna go stay on the beach for the weekend. We can use DVC points south, uh, south. Carolina Hilton Head, we can go up there. So we're, we're, we're big. And then, you know, DVC does have their discounts and their special parties and their little other stuff too. So we, uh, we've become, oh, I just missed the bus. I am, okay. It's my first day. I missed the bus by like a minute. Yeah. Bummer. Her. Well, since we got a little time. I've never been this way. Looks like we're gonna get back to Animal Kingdom right at 2.30 when I need to get going.
Uh, we were uh, at the. Um, <laughs> they try it. Um, we were at uh, Polynesian for those who want to know where the Moana stuff is and everything. There is technically a bus schedule when it comes to from a resort to a, a park. So, like, it says there's a 20 minute wait right now. Hopefully, it shows up a little sooner than that, but. Oh my bread. See how nice it is in here. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, it's freezing in here. Oh, this is the uh, convention center. Convention area. Okay. Grand Floridian Ballroom. So per per um, John, I get what you're saying, but for legal reasons, it's considered a timeshare. Um, yes, you can purchase DVC points and use them. Boy, that's a big mirror. Um, use the points when you feel free, right? So I'm I'm going to add three more days to our Alani trip in uh, November. So we're going to stay for eight days. But that's the wonderful thing about the DVC. You can add on to your stay. Um, most timeshares have a select time frame. Now, I'm loving this mirror. It's pineapple. Pizza night. Um, but yeah, timeshares usually have a, uh, a select time and everything. You can actually stay at them. Where DVC is more, it just costs more points if it's a busy season. No, no, I'm getting pizza tonight. I'm not cooking for the family. <laughs> so I got a couple things to do. I got to go to the shirt store. I got to pick up some more shirts because there's another order. And then I got to get some stuff for Shelly so that we, um, we're a little behind on some stuff. Uh, so tonight and tomorrow morning I'm working with Shelly on all that stuff because, yeah, things got a little behind. Yes, Julia, see, it is definitely hard to get out of a timeshare, too. Now, if you own a DVC resort that is very popular, um, what they do is they take it and they put it back on the resale market. Um, and then they will, I mean, I almost bought one the other day. I, I don't need another time. I don't need another DVC points. Um, but I almost did. I almost bought somebody else's. And the thing is, like, Alani, I think Alani is, like, 500 a night or something like that. Some, I think, starting. And you think about, like, if I'm staying there for eight days, right? We're talking, like, 4000 Well, I'm just low-balling here. It's $4,000. We'll just say that for my eight-day stay. That's, we'll do 5000 because there's taxes and other stuff involved, too. Um, and I'm, we're going in November, which is not low season either, so... I think it's 524 or something. So, well, this is 5,000. So, for a fifth of my total cost for all my points, we're going to be able to stay there. And we've stayed there already three times. We've been to Alani three times now. So, this will be our fourth. Our GST said, I told David it's my pizza night. He wants to know where we meet. You should share yours. Um, at my place. I'm, I'm going to be at my place tonight, our GST. Now they got the cabins. There's the there's the bungalow. If you guys ever watched our um, Return of the pa of Pokemaster and myself, um, I took him around the resorts and everything. Uh, we went to Wilderness Lodge, um, so he could uh, get a bison burger. So we went there, got a bison burger. We went and met with a DVC rep, and we got the tour a one bedroom room. 
um, that's on the video. And then he, she was like, well, do you want to go see the cabin? I'm like, yeah, I want to go see a cabin. So we took that and we went out there and she showed us around and walked us through the cabin and everything. By the way, anytime you meet a DVC rep that works for one of these hotels, just ask them if you want to see a room. They, that's what they're there for. And uh, yeah, they took us in that cabin. I was like, oh, I gotta stay here. If we're sitting inside too long, it's because it's really nice in here. Oh no, I can see the bus from right here. See, that's the bus stop right there. We're, we're totally good right here. It's very comfortable. Um, I got a place next to my mailbox. So if you guys ever want to send me fan mail, hate mail, junk mail, or Costco memberships, um, uh, it's right next door to my mailbox. Down in the description below, 141969 South Alafaya Trail, PMB number 107, Orlando, Florida, 32828. You can send us some fan mail, or um, the pizza place is literally right next door to my mailbox. And they sell like a 24 inch um, and a Sicilian size pizza, and their garlic knots are amazing. So, yeah, I eat there often. Kevin, good to see you, buddy. Oh, there's annual fees with DVC is too. Yes, I'm not. I'm not a DVC sales. I mean, if, if there was a job I'd ever want at Disney, it'd be a DVC rep, because I I would be honest with you guys. Like DVC is is not for everybody. Like if you're not somebody who likes to pay for something all year, right? We pay our annual dues, which I usually pay them all up front at the beginning of the year, so I don't have to worry about it through the year. But if you don't want to do that, you can pay them monthly too. But I don't even, it's worth it. To me, to me, DVC is worth it, but it's not for everybody. Especially if you um, only vacation once every two years. I would say DVC is not probably worth it, but you can bank and borrow your points. So you can take 20, 22's points, like I have, borrowed over to 23, or bank into 23, then you borrow from 24, and then you can have so many points that you can stay at Animal Kingdom Lodge for like a month. Not joking. You can you can probably do that with the amount of points I have. Yeah, I could probably stay and still have points left over. <laughs> Linda says Disney VIP tour guide. Oh, we got a bus coming. Wonder what bus it is. So I, well, I was at Disney when I bought mine. So if you guys want to like the story behind it, 2017, first trip ever to Disney World. A little backstory here. 2017, first, well, sorry, second trip to Disney World ever. My first trip to Disney World was in 2012 and I had no idea what I was doing. It says Disney Springs. Oh yeah, it does say Disney Springs. Yeah, it's fine, we'll head over here anyways. 2012, came here with my wife right after getting back from Afghanistan. We went to Hershey, Pennsylvania for Hershey Park, and we went to Cedar Point, and we went a bunch of other places too. Um, that was our America road trip. 2017, we came here with my son. Uh, we went to Disney in the December 2017. December 2016, we went to Disneyland. My son loved it. I was like, oh, we got to take him to Disney World. We saw they were giving out a $100 gift card just to go sit through a timeshare. We were like, sure, why not? We walked in. I walked in, I sat down, they said, okay, this is what this is, this is what it is, you don't have to buy points, I understand you're here for the gift card. I was like, boom, right there, she already sold me. She already knew why we were there. So she wasn't trying to sell it, she was just giving me information, which I love. If you want me to buy something quick, don't tell me like what, like don't make it seem like you're like, oh, we need to make this sell, like just chat with me, I'll probably buy it, I'm pretty, <laughs> She's so like, yeah, so, you know, we got DVC and we have, you know, these resorts here you can stay and these are how the point system works and everything. And I was like, oh, that's really cool and everything. She goes, yeah, we got here, South Carolina, uh, Vero Beach, which is just south of here, about two hours. And then we have Alani. And my wife Lily looks at me and goes, in Hawaii? And I said, and she was like, yeah, in Hawaii. And I was like, oh, man, here we go. And she's like, well, what do you, what do you mean by timeshare? And I'm like, well, technically it's a timeshare. 
for, for legal reasons, is timeshare, right? And Shelly's like, oh, no, we don't want timeshare. And I'm like, hold on. You didn't listen to the point system. So it costs more points in the busier season, and it costs less points in the non-busy season. These points recur every year. We take these points, and we can say at uh, Alani for this amount of time. So we looked at the points. We made a plan. And I was like, okay, cool. And she was like, you don't have to do this. You, you guys need to take the gift card and go. Go get your free ice cream. Because at the time, they're also giving us free ice cream. And I said, oh, no. Because as soon as we go home, Shelly's going to tell me we should have did it. And she was like, okay, or... I mean, when Shelly looks at me and goes, you're about to go to Japan. By the way, I was like 20 days from going to Japan. She's like, you're about to go to Japan. I'm like, yeah. And then when I get back from Japan, we can go to Hawaii. And without question, Shelly goes, oh, we can go to Hawaii when you get back? Yeah. Okay. So well, where do we sign? And that's how we became DVC members. My DVC rep is Marlene. Wonderful. She mostly is at home now, but when I met her, she was in the office um, at Saratoga Springs. We went and got our free ice cream after. We carried our really fancy, expensive bag out of the building, and I became a DVC member. And I tell you what, we went to Hawaii. I think it was June 2018. I can't remember exactly. It was either... Yeah, it was June 2018, and Shelly walked out on the beach with Tanner and Tanner with the biggest smile on his face says this is my new home and uh, yeah six months later we bought another set of points oh our presentation was in two hours now you literally we walked in they said hi to us um, they were like this is what it is um, they did a little video it was like a 10 minute video um, just showing all the different resorts and then they were like walked in we talked to a guide real quick she was like are you interested and I was like not really she said okay and then and then we went through the things and then I think we were there for maybe maybe 45 minutes plus paperwork Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm very, was very anti timeshare and everything. And then they were like, Disney Vacation Club. And I'm like, okay, what's up? So we are going on the Disney Vacation Club cruise this year, everybody. So this is how much I love Disney and DVC. They have a DVC cruise where it's DVC members only, right? So you, you know these people that are going on the cruise are DVC members, which means everybody has some home resort. It's going to be crazy. I cannot wait to bring that vlog to you guys. This is coming in September. It's the D on the Disney Wish, the DVC member only cruise coming this September. I will be on it with Shelly. We won't have the kids. We're going to every presentation, every show, everything. We're doing everything. So. So points are the same. Well, not all points are the same. If you buy points from outside of Disney, the points are not the same. But let's say you buy points for Alani and you bought points for Copper Creek because those are two of my two home resorts. Yes, I can use those points at any of the resorts or hotels. So we got the DVC. We've been talking about going on a DVC member only cruise for like, well, last three years. And uh, this year we moved, we, we moved, literally moved here and then it went on sale and in minutes it was sold out. And we were like, ah, oh, bummer. I called them like a week later. I was like, hey, I just had a chance. Would you have a, having like a room, like a cancellation or anything? They're like, no, at the moment we don't. Let me call my other rep uh, manager and see if they have any. Literally somebody was canceling their room on the cruise as I was calling. And they're like, give us like six minutes and we can get you booked into the room. And I was like, cool. They're like, do you mind what room it is? I'm like, absolutely not, just any room. It's, just let it happen. <laughs> and uh, so we are staying on the second floor, or the second deck of the Disney Wish, um, September, Labor Day. So the cruise departs on Labor Day and through Friday.
Yeah, um, and then the other thing is like you want you want discounts and stuff like that. You need to have at least 150 points. Um, so like when I didn't live in the state, I could get DVC members are allowed to get the second annual pass. So if you don't live in the state, um, but you have like 150 points, you can buy the platinum pass or whatever you call it. This whatever the one that it is now, the sorcerer pass. So you can get the sorcerer if you don't live in Florida. So you know you can save some money there, and then they have all the different DVC after hours events and stuff like. That. I became like a huge DVC fan after doing it. <laughs> no, it's fine, Ken K. I'm just, I'm just talking about. It. I, I get really like excited about because it like, it's something that. So if you ever wonder if I love Disney, like, and I'm just doing this to make video, like I love being here. Yeah, we're waiting for the bus right now, but we're having a good conversation. Going on the Disney Wish August 25th. That's awesome, Sam. I am. We actually joined DVC when we were on the Dream. Yeah, so doing it while you're on the cruise. Wow, there's another Hollywood Studios bus already. It can be easy. It can be hard. I've done it over the phone while moving before when I added my second one. Uh, I'm not using... So using the points for the cruise, I wouldn't do that, no. The amount of points required to go on a cruise is, uh, the math to me doesn't math very well. But if you, as long as you're a, enough points holder, you can go on a DVC cruise by paying cash. Or, you know, your form of payment. Is that my bus? That's my bus. That's my bus. Yeah, but... I'm okay. I love it. I love bringing everybody here and I love being here. Ooh, Ryan has a meatball sub come on. That sounds good. I had Florida air water. No, I totally get that, Craig. And again, DVC is not for everybody. I can't explain that enough. Um, there are some people who don't like um, paying into something. And like I said, there is a monthly um, or one time a year uh, service, you know, like, but it is considered owning property. That's why it's considered a timeshare. Pretty good today. I tell you what, I'm, I'm loving loving being here everybody I had a good day I hope you guys had a good day too how are you I'm good I'm good how are you okay. I'm using banging up here. Oh, Alright, let's get out of here. I don't. So, buying points at a certain resort just guarantees you 11 month booking window instead of the 9 month booking window. So, 
I mean, technically, the new DVC resort is going to open soon, and that is going to be available for sale whenever that goes on sale. And I mean, you can, the length of the uh, DVC resorts Hello, are, everyone, are 50 and years. Welcome the Walt Disney World Transportation System. We are on our way to Disney's Animal Kingdom. For your safety and the safety of others, please remain seated while the motor coach is in motion. Thank you. If you're standing, we encourage you to use the handrails overhead or to the side and remain clear of the doors and stairwells. I do enjoy an advance of the travel. We from eating, drinking, and smoking while on board the motor coach. And now, we invite you to relax and enjoy the ride. Thank you. But if you're looking just to book a cruise, a uh, trip to Disney World, Disneyland, Alani, or anything like that, head up our friend Adam down there in the description below. Adam with Adventures by Jamie. He is a travel advisor and he is working with us um, to help you guys plan a vacation if you need somebody like that. And his services are completely free to do. That's right. Now we, we, we found somebody who can do some free to do stuff. So let him know where Ron sent you. Jen uh, just gifted a membership to Candace Brennan. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that's very nice of you. Um, sorry, oh, Jen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Jen, that's very generous of you. Thank you so much. Yeah, so Adam with Adventures by Jamie will help you out at no additional cost to you. Or about helping you book your cruise, your your trip, your whatever you plan on doing. We had to find a free to do guy. I mean, come on, let's be fair. Like, I'm Ron and Ron on the go does the free to do things, right? We use Streamlabs because it's free to do. The only thing it's not really free to do right now. Um, it's the cell phone service, right? We, we gotta pay for that. But either way, that's covered. So, okay, thank you, Jen. Very nice of you. Then there you go, everybody. JJ Mickey just dropped an adventure. You can email or you can schedule a phone call with Adam. I have talked to Adam personally myself um, on the phone, so I do know the guy very well, and uh, he's here to help us and help you. That's right, Jen. Free to do. That's that's what a that's the slogan of the channel, right? It's, it, we... No problem, Jeff Cap. Wayne says hello, shades of green, miss you. Don't be sad, be happy you were there. That's that's how I always feel about things. Like I don't look back at my old cruises and I'm sad I like I miss them, yes, but I'm I was happy I was there at some point. Don't be sad about things. Be happy you were there and you, you know, plan to do it again. AC on this bus is decent, it's not the greatest. This is the Speedway, everybody, that I usually I stop at after like a Magic Kingdom day. So you know when you guys are like, don't forget to get your drinks. Like somebody will like, you know, $10 pay for a super chat or something, go get your, I go here and I grab like three power aids for like $6. I think that's the deal right now. Two dollars, two for $6. Either way, those are the big ones. I love going there after work. <laughs> I said work. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Oh, uh, Jasu said, 999 from Jasu said, just amazing to watch 
you bring us the resource as always with your fun positive. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad it's, um, you like what's going on here. I'm, I'm trying to change it up a little bit. I know I go to the parks like every day, but like these are cool. I would have never thought of going to Fort Wilderness Lodge and walking around like we did and everything. So. Well, Kurt, um, the DVC points are based on uh, how many, like, so one point doesn't get you a stay. Like, my Alani points are like 17 a night. But I get that contract for 50 years. So it's a long time. So I have 50 years of DVC stays. And believe me, like, the one night I stayed in a one bedroom at the Contemporary was 980 something dollars for the one night in a one bedroom. So I would never pay that out of my own pocket. So it's kind of cool. It's just cool. You get to stay in a lot of places you wouldn't think of. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, there's so much more to see that I have not. I've lived here for almost a year. I'm still going new places. So when you wonder, how do you not get bored of Disney World? Today was one of those days where we went to a lot of different places and did new things. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> it's just weird to say like, because my wife started calling it work. So like in my head, I was just like, oh yeah, I gotta go to work. In just a few minutes, we'll be arriving at Disney's Animal Kingdom, where the wonders of the natural world meet the magic of Disney. We're glad you've chosen to stay with us as a Walt Disney World Resort guest. So we'd like to share some insider tips to help make your day in the park more enjoyable. You won't want to miss Expedition Everest, Legend of the Forbidden Mountain, or a runaway train, for a high-speed ride through the snowy peaks and mountain canyons of the Himalayas, yeah. the adventure culminates in a chilling encounter with the legendary creature that prowls the icy caverns of Mount Everest, the Yeti. Then venture off into the African savanna in an open-air safari vehicle oh, yeah? for a thrilling animal-filled expedition really? on Kilimanjaro safaris. Embark on a white water oh adventure gosh, really through long. the heart of the Asian rainforest on County River Rapids and dodge rampaging reptiles on a time-traveling trip back to a primeval world on Dinosaur. Okay. It's all waiting for you today at Disney's Animal, Animal Kingdom. Kingdom. <laughs> we'll be there soon. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, no, your TAR ticket is not included in your DVC. But like I said, if you want to get an annual pass and you're a DVC member, you can, instead of having to buy an annual credit pass, you can buy the Gifted a membership going to Elijah was gifted a congratulations. Elijah, thank you so much, Kyle. That was very kind of you, sir. Oh my gosh. You guys are too nice. Candace, congratulations as well. You get special events with DVC too, if you guys didn't know. Like Moonlight Magic is something I've never done before, and I recently did it with the uh, H2O, or, uh, well, it's pretty much H2O Glow. But, like, it's no cost to you. You just got to get um, your par party into the event. And then there was, like, free ice cream and sodas and and popcorn, and nobody was there. It was great. I mean, and that was just part of being a DVC member. It wasn't a
that giant McDonald's. The roof is made of uh, solar panels. Good to see you. Me and uh, me and Kevin went there one night before he left. subscribers today <laughs> we didn't gain subscribers we lost subscribers today <laughs> well, it happens anyway, uh, <laughs> no problem Ramon it's always great to have you That was so crazily busy, yeah. We had cast members and guests all trying to eat at the McDonald's at the same night, wild. Oh no, Stan Smith, I was just laughing. At the fact that like we were losing subscribers over the course of the stream. Welcome to Disney's Animal Kingdom. Hey. Return service to your resort hotel is available at this station. Thank you. Be sure to ask your driver for the exact location. Smoking is not permitted at Disney's Animal Kingdom, except in the designated area outside the park entrance. Oh, Allie! Please collect your belongings, watch your head and step as you disembark, take small children by the hand, and follow the walkway to the main entrance. As you approach the entrance, please keep your party together. Thanks for riding with us, and have a wild time here at Disney. Shelly needs something, that is number one. This is what I do after those, so it goes to the kids, Shelly, then I get to do YouTube. In that order. Hardcore. Thank you. Hey, we made it. With 12% battery to spare. Oh, I know. I hope Shelly does good at this whole job thing she's working on right now. That's why she hasn't really been talking to me today. If it goes good and she gets that transfer, we could be doing a lot more. Five minutes to spare. All right. What's going on in here? Yo, y'all got that ice cold drinks in here? The machines look faded. It looks like you could use an update. Well, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. Unfortunately, this is where we end now, as I do need to get home. 
Looks like we lost some subscribers more than we gained today. That's okay. It happens. Some people want, you know, in-park action all the time, which I try to do, but today we did it a little bit different. It happens. We're still about 24, 25 away from hitting uh, 16,400, but it's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll just continue on and we'll get, we'll get some new friends in the future. If you guys enjoyed today's stream though, hit that like button. Let us know you enjoyed it. Of course, subscribe to the channel. Love the support, free to do. I wanna thank all my Patreon members and all my channel members, our new channel members as well. Thank you guys, greatly appreciate it. The Venmo from Nikki, thank you so much. And all the super chats as well. They go back into making sure that I keep coming back to the parks and bringing you guys some kind of content here. Of course, I wanna thank my uh, moderators for all their moderating that they do. It's a, it's a busy job they have. Well, of course, okay. I want to thank okay, my wife okay, for making all this possible. Again, without her, no, this would not be a thing. And Are you looking for the Yeah. Cool. And uh, also, if you're looking to book your next adventure, again, check out down in the description below, uh, Adventures with... Uh, Adventures with... Jamie, sorry, Adventures, Adventures with Jamie. <laughs> sorry, the tram guy got me good. All right, folks. Let's ride the tram. At this time, we're calling for over the border, over the warning at this time. So at this time, if you would not cross that yellow line, please remain behind it. Adam with Adventures by Jamie. Look, get yourself a phone call or something. He'll help you book your trip at no additional cost because it's free to do. Yeah. All right, driver, we're going to two stops. Okay. First stop, Red Tape Pool, Dinosaur. Second stop, Yellow Betty Pool, and Peacock. We, we don't do this very often with the tram at the end of the night, but since we're here. All right, folks, at this time, please sit back and relax. Driver, you are clear for dispatch. For your safety, remain seated with the doors closed, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside while the tram is moving, and supervise your children. Thank you. Para su seguridad, favor de permanecer sentados con las puertas cerradas, manteniendo sus manos, brazos, pies, y piernas adentro mientras el tranvía está en movimiento. Y vigilen a sus niños. Gracias. Again, everybody. Oh, okay. 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 Back to the parking lot. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed today here at Disney's Animal Kingdom, but we do have a few friendly, friendly reminders for you tonight. We have a posted speed limit at 15 miles an hour. That is a 1.5 and not a 5.0. If you're looking for a one and only exit, follow the white doors you see painted on the ground. And if you experience any Car trouble tonight, come up to the gray and yellow poles, let the nearest cast member know, we'll do our best to help you out as soon as possible. We're actually coming up to the first of two stops, I know, we just went to two stops. This stop will service Dinosaur and Dinosaur only. It's for Dinosaur and Dinosaur only. Dinosaur will be to the driver's right hand side. We're almost there, almost there. There's that phone complete stop. If you're looking to exit, push up and push out on the door handle. Watch your head, watch your step as you disembark. We have a wild rest of the day, wherever your travels may take you. Once again, this is for dinosaur and dinosaur only. The tram operators talk a lot. It's usually why I don't live stream the tram. <laughs> <laughs> it's just trying for a dinosaur. <laughs> I can't find my car. I parked in. <laughs> Let's see. All right, folks, raise your hand if you're looking for a peacock, butterfly, or giraffe. Good. That should be everyone on the tram. That was a trick question. Ah, got me. All right, without further ado, please sit back and relax. Driver, clear for dispatch. Alright folks, we well, thank you for remaining on board with us. We are going to make a U-turn up ahead, so please hold on to small children and loose articles and remain seated. 
Once we get around the river, then we're going to make a pull at the pit stop. And that, at that stop, Peacock and Butterfly will be on the driver's right-hand side. Giraffe will be on the driver's left-hand side. Giraffes have purple tongues. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that on the safari. It's for UV protection. Here's that U-turn I was talking about. Just hold on to small children in loose articles and remain seated. I mean, they have still this much parking, but they also fill this side parking. Like, this wasn't full when I came here this morning. This whole side was empty this morning when I got here, so. Yeah, there's a lot of people here today. It's just busy. It's summertime. Everybody's on vacation now. Um, schools all the way to the west coast are out. All now. right, folks, if you're waiting to board my tram, I need you all the way behind that yellow safety line. Not on it, not over it, all the way behind it. Just keep waiting all the way behind that yellow line till I tell you it is safe to board. But until then, just keep waiting behind that yellow safety line. There's our forward come work stop, my friends. If you're ready to exit, push up the front of the door. You can watch your bed, watch your step as you disembark. All right, everybody, have a wonderful day, and uh, this will redirect to, it should redirect to the park hoppers. I've had some redirect issues lately. Otherwise than that, enjoy the park hoppers tonight, everybody. They will be at Magic Kingdom. And then they got four, they're doing uh, a mountain challenge tomorrow. Three at uh, Magic Kingdom, one here at Animal Kingdom. Uh, you don't forget to tune in for that tomorrow morning as well. They're going to be doing that. So otherwise than that, everybody, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Turn around. There you go. Man, this thing is finicky sometimes. Oh, don't forget to join us tomorrow for, um, what's that thing called? Uh, Fantasmic. Alright, before I go any further. This train is heading up to the main entrance.